What is going by day enough for the check out Orange Goblin Death of Aquarius? This comes from Tobias. Appreciate you, homie. If you guys have any questions, always just hit me up. Orange Goblin. What the hell is that referencing? Like, where would they get that from? Was it just random? It's not a Spider Man thing, is it? The Hobgoblin? He was like an orange version of the Green Goblin? Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's the reference. Or it could just be fucking random. Let's check this out. They might have just been stoned. Very possible. I tell his cadence is going to be stuck in my head. Cadences are super underrated. The way you, the way you sing a song, the cadence, that's, that's damn near as important as your voice itself. Cadence is awesome. <laughs> That's why. solo little bit I 
Uh oh. Talk to me. Stuff, man. Classic, like old school metal. I have no idea if that's an old song or a new song. I have no idea, but the sound brings me to a certain classic era. Because it's a very simple song. They're not doing too much. They knew their lane. They stayed it the entire way. And the man rode the beat. Like he didn't rap, so I'm not saying he rapped. He did not rap. But he had a cadence that a rapper would use in a in a uh, song with this type of beats per minute. Really catchy, especially the chorus, and I guess that would be the post-chorus that he uh, had that cadence to earlier. Good stuff, man. And the uh, I truly, by the sound of this song and the uh, and by the cover art, let's see if we can just get a get the thumbnail to pop up. There we go. Right here. Is this good enough? Where? Oh, look at the end. Let's get the beginning. All right, good enough. But the uh, cover art that looks like this, where we got like a man and a woman riding what looks like a Harley Davidson with pit bulls on it through a sea of blood while gargoyles are ripping them off. That cover art tells me there's going to be a nasty guitar solo during the bridge. That's what that cover art is telling me. But that didn't really happen. They kind of teased it, and they started to. But it was more like a, a minor one, like a smaller solo. But when you see cover art like that, you expect like an old-school, 80s-style shredding guitar being shredded for a good two minutes. <laughs> That's usually what happens with that type of cover art. But it didn't happen. That's okay. We got right back to it. It stayed a very simple song that knew what it wanted to do. It wanted to drill into your head. It wanted to be catchy. And even the guitar the guitar riff that went throughout the song barely ever changed or uh, deviated from itself. They knew, again, they knew what box they were trying to hit. They stayed in it. Pretty damn good. Let me know what you guys think down below of Orange Goblin. Oh, fuck, man. See, I told you, man. It, it's in my head right now. Fuck. Now I gotta find something catchier. I gotta look to my playlist. Find something that I know is like really catchy to kind of like push this out. <laughs> 